Hello everybody, I'm Brian Collins, Realtor with Keller Williams Victor Valley. Um, I just wanted to say, let's make some Zoom backgrounds like this one, together, in command. All right, so now we are in here, we are in command. Um, we're going to use the little KW here, we're going to go down to designs. You can create your own backgrounds in designs at any time that you want. Um, you can customize them and change them however you want. I'm going to show you how. These are pretty cool. Um, there are some templates that you can use and customize. Um, I made this one today. You can see this one here. Um, this one is a pretty fun one. So you can see that I have this. Actually, yeah. So that one's um, available to me, and uh, I this is just one of the templates that they had available. So I wanted to try and use that. Here's how we do it. We go to designs, we click on our plus button down here, and we're going to go to social. Pretty much everything's located under social. Um, this is going to be the easiest way for you to get to all these things. Hit OK. It's going to open up the um, your all of the design templates here. And now if you want to use one of the ones that have been pre-created, if we go down to pivot, shift ahead, the first thing that comes up is these meeting backgrounds. So here's the one So here's the one that you saw that I had done right there. And then there's a, a different one. Here's a, one that's just a bookshelf. And there's all these blank spaces here so that you can use, um, you know, so that you can, you can customize them yourself. Like this one right here, we'll go ahead and use this one here because this, this is a black one. It's all dark. Um, and I like those backgrounds the best because they, I feel like they make it, everything look better, um, as far as it goes, but boom, right there, you just, here's your, your DBA name. You can remove that, um, or you can go under your logos right here and you can click this little, um, this little, uh, little arrow icon here and it will replace the logo. So, and you can move that around wherever you want it. You can make it a little bit bigger if you wanted to do something like that. Uh, maybe we want it centered with the words. So there we go. So now I have one that's you know completely customized to myself, and I can make mine a little bit more fun, and you know put my Bitmoji up there if I wanted to. I don't want to, but so there's that. Um, any of the logos, here's some company logos. So here's some miscellaneous logos that you can use. You want to use your equal opportunity, make sure that everybody knows your equal housing opportunity. You can throw that little logo down here in the bottom if you want. Um, National Association of Realtors. Oops. There it is. Keep your affiliations up. You know, um, really, <laughs> the sky's the limit. Uh, maybe you want to... Here's some ad. You want to add something different. So I have my own logo here. I want to add my my listing guru logo here. I'm going to throw that up here in this top corner. You know, I mean, it's endless. You can insert however you want right here from images, add. You can drag and drop, or you can click here, and it's going to um, add another logo. Maybe I want an all-white Keller Williams logo um, with no, there we go, all-white. And I want it to be, instead of this, instead of this um, red one, I, I want to just keep it all right here. I want to keep it all black and white. Just so that it, everything matches. Makes it look real nice and clean. How's that look? Yeah. Look how nice that looks. Boom. There you go. Boom. So, once you're done, you can go up here to download. It'll choose JPEG, and you, I always choose a high. I want the best quality I can. It's only about it's not it's not even a megabyte, so it's it's a good file it's a good file size. Um, you can do that. Now let's say you don't. I'm not going to save these. Let's just say you're like I don't want none of these backgrounds. I don't want any of that stuff in the background. I want my own. This is what you do. You go to my designs, and then you click right here. You start from a blank going to ask you for a custom size you're going to put in 1920 by 10 
80. That is a 1080p. That's the standard. That's the width and the height and the width of a, a full high definition photo. And that's the size that you want. You want to keep it in pixels. Hit create. It's going to give you a blank canvas. So at this point, you have a, a exact picture size that you need it to be, and then you can drag and drop your images. You can write your own text. You can put your own icons, logos. Um, you can even add a listing in there. If you, every day you want to do one of these and you want to throw a listing in there. Let me see. One, six, three, zero, zero. Let's see if I can do this. I don't know if there would be any reason to do this, but let's just say I want to put in a listing photo. I really like this picture. You know? Oops. Uh, yeah. There we go. I want I want this uh, I want this kitchen in the background. You know, whatever. You find out you you your house in the market. You want to use your own. Whatever you want to do. It's always up to you to do whatever you want. So if I want to put my own you know, my own face on there next to my face that I'm talking about with uh, with my logo here, with my license number, you know, make it small, make it big, however I want. 100% up to you. So you can use that and, you know, look, do whatever you want. And then, um, in your Zoom settings, you do need to go into your preferences, virtual background, and then um, click add, add an image or video, and then um, and then you'll choose wherever you save your design at on your desktop or on your downloads or wherever you save that from from designs. When you click the download button, um, this button up here. The download button wherever that saves to then you just go into your virtual background you hit the little plus button and let's just say you haven't logged in and you haven't created a, a zoom account it is totally fine um, you, you're probably not going to see settings like this but when you get into a meeting um, there is here let me go ahead and I'm just gonna do a meeting real quick there we go meeting connecting Okay, so right here in your video settings, you can go choose virtual background. So if you've never logged in before, if you never created an account, and you just click the links and you, you know it takes you into your meeting, and that's all it is. That's great. This is how you get here. Um, you just click on the little thing. You have to be in a meeting, and then you can add an image or a video, either one, and then go find it and put it in there, and then it will be. It'll be in there, and then it'll always default back into this meeting or whenever you get into these meetings it'll default with that background um, already chosen so yeah so I feel like it's a uh, it's pretty simple I'm gonna go ahead and end this meeting because nobody else is here um, it's a very simple thing to do and um, it's kind of fun you want to put in a little, your own personality you can put your kids your family you know whatever maybe you want to put up there what's important to you um, use it to personalize your zoom experience and you know make sure that you're representing your brand and your um representing you know yourself so hope that was helpful to everybody i'll see you guys on tuesday for command class live right here in zoom all right talk to you guys later bye